morning, holy brothers and sisters! It is the 19th day of ER, and for those counting the 34th day of the Omer, and in the Kitsur Lakuti Maharan, today's lesson will be called Belittling Belief. This is from teaching number 89. When a person knows that all of his shortcomings and all of his wants are present, as well, in the Divine Presence, he will certainly feel great sorrow and sadness, and he will not be able to serve God with joy. Therefore, he must say to himself, what am I that the king himself should tell me what he is lacking? Is there any greater honor than this? In this way, he will come to feel great joy and his mental faculties will be renewed and rejuvenated. We have to recognize that whatever we need will absolutely be taken care of when it's needed. But on an even greater level, that we have exactly what we need right now and we are not lacking in anything. This will bring us to real, true joy. Teaching number 90, when a person brings himself to rejoice in God, all that is lacking in the divine presence is made whole. Teaching number 91, a person's faith must be extremely strong such that it extends out into all of his limbs. Then through this faith, he will eventually arrive at intellectual understanding. In other words, the thing which he initially had to believe in because he did not understand it, he subsequently merits to understand with his intellect. Afterward, however, there are yet higher things which he is unable to understand intellectually. Then he must fortify himself further in this faith to believe that what he does not yet understand with his intellect until he also merits to comprehend these things. And so the process continues forever. There's a great line that I love to use. We Jews do not believe in God. Well, what does that mean? We do not believe. Of course we don't. Jews do not believe in God. We know God. Teaching number 92. By pacing back and forth, even within a house, a person can thereby mitigate strict judgments and bring back the dead to life. As always, thank you so much for learning together. And if you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.